it's been um, a pivotal moment in my career, and I think I can say that for all of us involved. Um, it's been 24-hour care for the last two and a half months. Initially, uh, the goal has always been to have um, Jamila be raised by gorillas. And so at the, the earliest that we could, we tried to uh, introduce her back to her biological mother, Sakani, um, and we made plans to do that and put a lot of you know time and effort into that. And unfortunately, um, that didn't happen. And so we pivoted to the next female that has um, a, a year and a half old baby on her. She was lactating. She was showing maternal instincts uh, and interest. And so we tried with her um, to be a surrogate for her. And again, unfortunately, we just didn't get the behaviors that we needed for that. And then as uh, you know, our third and final attempt, we, we pivoted to Winifred, who is a, another female in the troop, who's been a great aunt to Bruno and Gus. Um, and we set up uh, a lot of training, surrogacy training uh, with her and, you know, put a plan together, exposed her to the baby, and we just decided that she would be a great aunt someday, but not a mother. She just didn't exhibit the behaviors that we needed. And so the next step is that we have reached out to our national partners um, who have helped us identify a, another sur surrogate mother, a gorilla, that could help with us. And so we're working out the details now to make that transition from here to her new facility.